What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Money's Funko Pops. I am, of course, Money, and today we have a whole bunch of stuff to get into. As you guys can see here, we have a huge box. We have another box, which is a surprise from my friend over at Pop Shots, and then I also have some loose pops that I've picked up over the last couple weeks that I'm really excited to get into. But honestly, we're going to go ahead and get started here with this box from Pop Shots, a member of the Funko Collector Society, a great friend, and I am just so excited to see what he sent me here, and then we'll go ahead and tear into that huge box that I showed off in the beginning there. So let me grab my knife, and we're going to go ahead and get into this. So I posted a bunch of different want lists up on my uh, Instagram story, and uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can go ahead and do that at Money's Funko Pops, and um, I put up a Scooby-Doo want list. And uh, the homie Pop Shots hit me up and was like, hey man, I have an out of box pop from this wish list, and I think that you would like it more than I would. So he went ahead and put it in a sorter for me and sent it my way. And before we get into it, if you guys don't follow Pop Shots, I will go ahead and link him down below in the description so you guys can go ahead and follow him on Instagram. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So it's bubble wrapped. I'm trying to see through the bubble wrap, but I can't. So let's go ahead and rip this tape off and we'll see what he sent me. So, like I said, this is an out-of-box pop that I don't have from my Scooby-Doo set, and um, I'm really excited to see what it is. So let's go ahead and see. All right, so I'm trying to feel. It's a Scooby-Doo. I can, I can feel that. So here it is. Here is what he sent. Let's take a look. Oh, no way, cool. So this is actually Scooby-Dum. I was wrong. So this was a specialty series exclusive, and um, I actually never owned this. I saw it at uh, Newberry Comics when I was up in the Boston area a couple years ago, but decided to pass on it, and now I'm glad that I have it. So here we go, guys. This is a Scooby-Dum from the Scooby-Doo uh, set that I am trying to 100% complete. Pop Shots, thanks so much for this. I appreciate it. And like I said, guys, I will make sure to link him down below in the description so you can go ahead and check out his amazing content over on his Instagram page. So the next pop that I picked up is actually a pop in a box exclusive, and it is J. Jonah Jameson from Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, I personally felt that the Spider-Man Far From Home common wave was actually kind of disappointing. There were a lot of Spider-Man variants, but I didn't think any of them were too over the top. I also felt like the MJ and Happy Hogan were kind of waste of spaces, and they did so many Mysterio variants that I was a little disappointed, but this J. Jonah Jameson is awesome. I know it's caught a little bit of flack because it is the same mold as a WWE pop, I believe. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I know the mold is very similar, but I still love it. He's got the Daily Bugle microphone in his hand, and he's wagging his finger because he got to get pictures of Spider-Man, so this was an instant get for me when I saw it. And, uh, you know, Pop in a Box is over in Europe, so it takes them a while to get exclusives to us over here in the States. But nonetheless, I'm real excited to have this thing. Now, the next one I picked up is another Marvel Pop, and that is an Avengers Endgame exclusive that I've been trying to get my hands on for a bit. And uh, it came pretty jacked up, so I'm kind of disappointed with that, but um, still cool to have in the collection. This is the Funko Insider Club Hulk. Uh, this is not Hulk in the quantum suit. This is kind of just like the outfit he wore um around the avengers compound here and there so it's pretty cool uh the sticker is all messed up on that guy if you can see it it's kind of like peeling off and i'm gonna have to probably take this off and then buy a replacement one for it so i can get a full uh recoup on that sticker but um it's it's cool i only added it on like i said to get free shipping for another order that i placed on gamestop's website um so i was like all right what else do i need to get free shipping okay cool i need it for the avengers endgame set so might as well get it. Another GameStop exclusive that I picked up is Stanley with his pretzel from the new wave of Office Pops. Now this guy launched on the GameStop's website and even though I had it pre-ordered in store, I decided to go ahead and grab it online and cancel my in-store pre-orders because who the hell knows when GameStop's gonna open back up. This is still a very cool pop. You know, every Office Pop has a quote on the back flap. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that open and read it to you. So Stanley's quote is, I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on Pretzel Day, well, I like Pretzel Day. And if there was going to be any quote on the back of this box, it had to be that one. I love this. Like I said, I love it more than the Florida Stanley one. He's got his crossword puzzle. He's got his pretzel. And that is the greatest embodiment of Stanley that I can think of. So 
This Stanley Hudson pop is awesome. Probably one of my favorites in this office set so far because it's not another Michael or Dwight variant. I love that they're doing more of the cast and I can't wait to see more of these office pops in the future. So let's go ahead and set these guys back here because we have a huge box to get into. So, so far we got scooby Dum, Stanley Hudson, uh, and then two Marvel pops. And now we have an order that is finally here. I'm not sure which way this box is supposed to go, but we got some pretty awesome stuff in here that I'm super excited for. And uh, this has been sitting out on my front stoop for a while because, you know, we're trying to not get Corona. So we're kind of quarantining our packages a little bit. And I'm hoping that things didn't get destroyed in here. Can you guys even see me? Probably not, right? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get this information out of the way. And uh, this stuff is packed pretty cool. So I'm excited to get into this. So we're gonna go ahead and do three small things first and then get into the main course in this box. So we have three pops in here and then a pretty big surprise that I'm real excited for. So let's go ahead and get into this. So we have Barley Lightfoot from Onward. Uh, I watched this movie the other night with Danny and it is so good, I gotta say. Onward is such a good movie. If you have not seen it, it's on Disney Plus. You can go ahead and watch it for free if you have that Disney Plus membership. And once we saw that, we were like, okay, we, we got to pick the pops up for it. So we have Barley right here. The next pop we have, again, is Onward theme. And we have Wilden Lightfoot. This is the dad from the movie, which is such a funny, it's just such a cool concept for this movie. I love how it plays on uh, magic being commonplace in the world and kind of people just don't care about it anymore and I love what they did with the dad here so Wilden Lightfoot awesome pop it looks just like the character in the movie which is so cool so um that's really nice I like that pop a lot and then the last one that we have here um, of course you guys can probably figure out what it is we have Ian Lightfoot the star of the movie such an awesome character I'm a huge fan of Tom Holland and Chris Pratt of course two of my favorite actors out there right now so these were easy pickups for us because of how much we love the actors and how much we loved the movie so if you have not seen onward yet i can't recommend it enough guys it is so good and if you guys have seen onward make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of it did you like it did you hate it let's have a discussion down below in the comments about what you thought about the movie and then the last thing we have here i kind of i treated myself a little bit here we have something that I have been eyeing for a very, very long time. It has been expensive-ish and it finally went half off. So I said, uh, I've, I've got to pick it up. I, if I didn't get it, I would be like kicking myself. So we have the, as I knock all of these pops over, we have the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Star Lord helmet, which is so freaking sick. It's gonna pair great with my Ant-Man helmet. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this thing. So uh, as you guys can see here, it is huge, really big box. I can't wait to put this thing on and walk around the house with it, but it's really cool. These Marvel Legends helmets are so, so nice. I wish they had on the box here all the different ones that you could get, but um, nonetheless, it still is a beautiful box. I love the simplicity of it. I love how it's also a Bluetooth speaker, which is pretty cool. We're going to have to put some music through this thing, but um, I'm real excited to get into it. So let's go ahead and cut this tape and get into the helmet. So um, if you guys own any of these Marvel Legends helmets, uh, drop a comment down below and let me know which ones you have. And if you don't have any, um, are there any that you've been eyeing? Let me know uh, down below what you think. So we're going to go ahead and pull this thing on out. I'm making a lot of noise right now. The Techno Mumbo Jumbo here. This device does not come with batteries. I'll be right back. All right, so... Give me a fucking half hour here to figure out how to put these batteries in. All right, guys, so I'm back. I took all the plastic off of this and I put batteries in it. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. So this is the Star-Lord Helmet Legend Series, whatever it's called. It's freaking sick. I didn't realize that the helmet comes with all this like wear and tear on it to make it look more like a Star-Lord helmet, but that's pretty cool because he is a legendary outlaw. So it would make sense to have the mask be kind of like, you know, have some missing paint and some chipped up marks and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and take this hat off and replace it with this Star-Lord helmet. So, all right, so we're in here. Let's take a look. 
Oh, it makes noise. This is so sick. Dan, it makes noise. So it has... So that's the initial noise when you put it on. And then it has three different dim settings on it. So you can turn the lights on or off depending on depending on what you want it to be. So it's different than the Ant-Man helmet in the aspect where you push the button on the Ant-Man helmet. If I can find it, it changes from red to blue. This one has... Cool. Is the ponytail coming through the top? Yeah. So we've been in quarantine, of course, so I've been keeping my longish hair up in a ponytail because otherwise it just kind of boy band look all over my face. So I'm glad the ponytail is coming through the <laughs> I love this. I deserve this, right? You do deserve this. Thank you. So this is awesome. I love this. Um, the eyes look pretty cool from the inside because you guys can't see my eyes, but I can see through it, which is really, really cool. I'm loving that. Um, not loving how it doesn't come with the batteries if you're spending this much money on it, but still pretty cool. Nonetheless, I'm loving it. Um, this is really really nice it's gonna look awesome with my ant-man helmet it's gonna look awesome with all of my other marvel toys that i have over here so i'm branching outside of like different pop merchandise and really starting to collect some marvel stuff that i've been wanting for some time so i've been eyeing this in the ant-man helmet for a long time danny grabbed me the ant-man helmet for christmas and then i went ahead and treated myself to this to give me something to wear when i'm walking around the house in quarantine so uh guys this was a really awesome haul lots of awesome stuff in here and um, I want to know from you guys down below in the comments, which pop or which item from this haul is your favorite? Is it the Scooby Dumb that Pop Shot sent me or is it this awesome Star-Lord helmet that I picked up for myself? Make sure you guys drop a comment down below and let me know which item from this haul is your favorite. And today's question of the day is what have you guys been watching during this quarantine time? Have you been watching The Office, Onward, some Marvel movies to catch up on? Make sure you guys drop me a comment down below and let me know what you've been binging during this quarantine. So guys, thank you so much for taking time to watch the video. I absolutely always appreciate your support and I'll be seeing you guys soon. What's up guys? Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content that I post here to the channel. Down below me, there are two different videos. You have my suggestion, which is the video that I suggest you watch, or you can click next video, which will take you to a video very similar to the one that you just watched. So thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you soon.